Osprey platform seemed like too big of a project at first. An Osprey is essentially a large hawk. They have a white underside and a distinctive crook in their narrow wings. Like many other animals, living near its food source is key. Just ask Max, a life scout for Troop 2000. Just an area where they can build a, a big nest um, uh, high up where they can see uh, around large radius and, and where they have a body of water nearby where they can, where they can fish and, and feed their young. Unlike many birds, osprey are not opposed to living in a man-made nesting platform. That's exactly what Max built for his Eagle Scout project, but it wasn't without some doubts. I wasn't sure how I was going to get the pole up. Uh, Boy Scouts can do a lot, but we can't put up a 40-foot pole with a platform on it. Given the obstacles of the platform, Max first considered a more manageable undertaking. I was going to build some bluebird houses and put them up here around Terry Trueblood. But he then got some additional encouragement from Jim Walters of the Johnson County Songbird Project. A very unique bird um, that has been making a dramatic comeback in the upper Midwest. And Jim isn't exaggerating about the comeback. There was a dramatic decline of the osprey population in the United States between the 1940s and the 1970s. Experts determined that like many other birds, including the bald eagle, DDT, a popular pesticide, was causing the eggshells of unborn osprey to thin and never hatch. DDT has since been banned for agricultural use, and with the help of projects like Max's, the population of osprey has rebounded. Crew that's going to put up the pole today just saw a pair of ospreys that were flying over the pond here. He was sold on the idea, but Max still had to figure out how to get his nesting platform 40 feet in the air. I asked Jim about it and he said, I already got that figured out. Uh, Mid-American Energy will donate a pole and time and, and they said give us a 48 hours heads up and we'll be there. The generosity of Jim and Mid-American Energy touched Max. It's unbelievable uh, how, how willing people are to help each other out. For Jim, it's worth the effort to afford people the chance to see these magnificent birds up close. The first time you see it, it's quite an eye-opening experience to see this rather large bird go into the water and, and come out with a fish. Max says getting the platform up was great. It was exciting to, to build it and even more exciting to see it put up. But that he hopes the end result is even more satisfying. In the end, uh, everybody benefits. They can come out here to the Terry Trueblood and walk around. You'll be able to see the platform. and. Um, Hopefully, uh, Osprey is nesting out here on it. And in case you were wondering, Max made Eagle Scout. Mm -hmm.